I just wanted to film this effect real quick. Um, power consumption into the Tesla coil is about 21, 22 watts. Uh, that analog meter reads our current consumption going in. And I have this incandescent bulb, the brightest I've ever had it. And this bulb is lit from the combined power of the back EMF from the primary coil and the power output from the um the ZVS power output. And on top of and on top of that we have wireless power. So I discovered if you limit the power output being the tandem output where you combine the back EMF of the primary with the output power of the ZVS, you have you have to limit this power tap output to the total power input into the Tesla coil and you will get you you will get a power output equal to your input on top of wireless power effects as a bonus and here's a demonstration of that and so that's how much current the tesla coil is consuming a little under 300 milliamps at a 78 volt dc input um, i'll show the dc input on the meter and I also upgraded to all SIC diodes, as you can see. They look kind of goofy, but they're the most efficient diodes on the market you can get. They're silicon carbide. Almost zero, pretty much zero switching loss. Um, see if I can do this. Aha, I got it. So, yeah, 72.1 volt input to the coil. This is reading our DC input into the coil from the ZVS. 72 point, hold on. 72.1 volt DC input into the coil at a 300 milliamp power consumption is what we are consuming to run the Tesla coil. And the Tesla coil's back EMF plus the ZVS output is in tandem to run a load equal to the total power input and on top of it we get wireless power effects for free so wanted to film that effect wanted to show it off here is the upgraded coil how it looks it'll very weakly light a fluorescent tube nearby so we still have the wireless power effects if you were to overload this spot being a load slightly higher than your total input power to the to the system the Tesla coils wireless power would shut off so that's why you have to run the Tesla coil with no uh, back EMF load and it consumes about 20, 20, 20 to 21 watts and then you're like okay I have to limit the power from the back EMF tap to 20 or 21 watts with the correct series value capacitor or you can ignore the correct series value capacitor just run the correct inductive load or resistive load and you will get a power output just about equal to your input with wireless power effects as a bonus. So we still didn't even tap into these wireless power effects that are loadless. And then we could combine that further with this power output. So I wanted to show that pretty cool effect. Um, this is showing that a Tesla coil produces real usable power um, to run heavy loads and produce wireless power as well. Um, that's a 40 watt incandescent lit to about, th it looks like it's 30 watts to me. Um, good look at the circuit. All SIC diodes upgraded. Um, these two sick diodes prevent detuning of the primary by coming right off of it. These other three SIC diodes are common in a Slayer Exciter. That is a Baker Clamp SIC diode, and that is a pull-down SIC diode, which increases the speed of the switching. So, yeah, switch to the most efficient components you can get. Good look at the transistor. This is the box of my fancy parts, the higher-end parts being the transistors and the diodes. Um... This is the latest SIC diode. What they are will be in the description. Stinks that they don't come um, 
in a regular package like like these but then the circuit could be a little smaller and this is the latest model transistor it's actually pretty small and this is the heart of the system so that's that just wanted to show you that really cool effect and what's interesting is if I disconnect the bulb so I'm gonna disconnect the bulb now from running and will actually consume more power which you will see so the bulb is disconnected we immediately consume almost 500 milliamps we're at about 450 on power consumption but our wireless power effects have become very intense like I've never had effects that intense before um, and the those intense effects are caused from the uh, the coil being built as tall as it is wide which maximizes the Q factor and you're looking for almost like a pure white bluish spark that comes off the coil if any spark comes off at all but it eventually will when you get to these power intensities and the coil essentially excels at dumping all its power into free space and here's where it's interesting I hope you can see the power consumption when I reconnect the bulb up to the back EMF connection coming off the primary coil our power consumption will drop and the bulb will light so you have to get the effect just right the system has to kinda enter that mode of operation for it to occur right now it's not doing it I probably have to disconnect and reconnect there you go it's doing it so I have to kind of get the system to lock into that mode of operation so pretty cool update this is what the kit comes with if you want to buy it minus the wood board I have it on the wood board for um, simplicity for me to experiment with and when you have a, a load lit that's equal to your total input power you still get very weak wireless power effects that remain in the system And here's something else that's interesting. I can take an identical receiver coil, put it nearby. The stuff still lights. And if I connect this between an earth ground connection, it'll get even brighter. I can't do that right now when I'm filming one-handed. But um, yeah, that's that. Wanted to show that cool effect. Runs off his EVS. Um, and yeah, so... Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, join the Patreon, buy our book if you wish, which is on the Patreon. Um, if you want to buy the kit, feel free to. We also sell just these high Q Tesla coils for people if they want to experiment with it for 100 bucks now on the website. So for people who don't want to buy the $300 kit, you can buy just this high Q coil to experiment with. Hook it up to a signal generator and do all sorts of experiments. And this coil is just as tall as it is wide, and it's 99 bucks. So, yeah, that's uh, that's that, and have a good one, everyone. And now the system is completely off and de-energized, consuming no current. So, that's that.